They are located in Gakona, Alaska. The project is called HARP. HARP is the high-frequency active auroral research project, originally a joint effort of the Air Force and Navy in cooperation with a number of academic institutions. It is today the world's largest radio broadcasting station, but it's not designed to broadcast for human ears. It uses unique patented ability to focus the energy coming out of the antenna field and injects that energy into a spot at the very top of the atmosphere in a region called the ionosphere. HARP is comprised of 180 antennas, approximately 72 feet tall, linked together to function as one giant steerable antenna. Steerable because it can aim millions of watts of ELF waves into one tiny patch of the atmosphere. The amount of energy we're talking about here is 3.6 million watts. To give you an idea of what that is, the largest legal AM radio station in North America is 50,000 watts. HARP is 72,000 50,000 watt radio stations injecting their entire output into a spot that's about 12 miles across by about two and a half miles deep by about 90 miles up. This is where HARP is pointing. It's an area located roughly 300 miles from Anchorage. The U.S. military says HARP is merely being used to study the physical and electrical properties and behavior of the ionosphere for both civilian and defense purposes. But another theory has surfaced. The intense energy being beamed into the sky by HARP is actually heating up the atmosphere, causing weather changes. HARP is being used for weather modification. The military's own record proves it. They've admitted it within their own documents, and yet they still deny it to the public. Dr. Brooks Agnew has researched ELF wave technology for the past 30 years and is convinced HARP's effect on the ionosphere does alter the weather. HARP couldn't affect the jet stream directly, but indirectly it could, because if you push the ionosphere out into space, then the stratosphere, just under the ionosphere, has to move to fill in that gap. When it moves, it could pull the jet stream with it, thus rerouting it hundreds of miles, changing the way water moves through our atmosphere. HARP is one of several ELF wave transmitters located all over the globe. The United States owns and operates three of them, one in Gakona, Alaska, another in Fairbanks, Alaska, and one in Arecibo, Puerto Rico. Russia has one in Vasilursky, near Nizhny, Novgorod, and the European Union has one near Trumsa in Norway. Working in tandem, these transmitters could potentially alter the weather anywhere in the world, changing the jet stream's course entirely, triggering massive rainstorms or droughts. Even hurricane steering would be possible by heating up the atmosphere and building up high-pressure domes that could deflect or change the course of hurricanes. The U.S. government is firm in its position that HARP is just an atmospheric research facility. But is it more than coincidence that since going online, some experts have reported strange weather anomalies, including massive floods, hurricanes, and earthquakes? <laughs>